healthcare system. When you say that out loud, a thousand hospitalizations, it's only half of where we were at during the peak during the first wave, but still, hospitals now bracing for impact. People need to think about what it was like in March and April. It was bad. During the first wave, hospitals canceled all non-essential surgeries and procedures. This time around, as the second surge starts filling beds, they're going to try as hard as they can to keep everything business as usual. And we now want to be able to continue to work and, and treat patients, and people don't want to get behind on their cancer treatments or other things. The medical community remembers what it was like during the first wave, the long hours in the hospital, and they're not being able to return home at the end of the day. We're having to keep away from our families in the coming, coming weeks or coming days. Reaching 1,000 hospitalizations is the halfway mark to where we were during the first peak. There will be strain across the system. Will it be in one hospital versus another? No, it'll be all of us. Back in the spring, during the first surge, the governor got all of the hospitals together, the big systems from New Vance to Yale to Trinity Healthcare and Harvard Healthcare, so that way they could have open communication across the state and be ready for anything. In case, say here at St. Francis Hospital, they had too many patients, they could transfer somebody. They have a relationship with Hartford Hospital. They can transfer you here. They can share staff, also information. That way, they can spread the strain throughout the system. We're seeing the ability to manage is still there. It's definitely still there. Um, again, we're, we're a big system. Trinity as well is a big, big enough system. So the ability to do shift around, we have that capability that not a lot of systems do have. And while the medical system is adapting and changing with what they've learned over the first wave, they're still bracing for impact. We know a lot more than we did several months ago, but we know a lot more, which means we know the dangers even more. We know who can die. We know how many people die. We know what percentage of mortality we expect to see. We know how to use the ventilators a little bit better, but that means we're using ventilators on you. And doctors very clear, do your part. If everybody does their part, that will help kind of flatten the curve, as we were talking about in the spring. Wear the mask and social distance. We're in Hartford. Bob Wilson. New